here to attend another webinar on project and internship opportunities for UG and PG students. I, Sanju Chaudhary, Assistant Director, AICTE, welcome you all in this webinar. It's our privilege that Dr. J. Ramkumar, sir, Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering and Design Program, IIT Kanpur, has joined today's webinar as a resource person. Sir, it is indeed a great honor to have you, sir. We extend a warm welcome to you. I also welcome Director of Student Development Cell, Dr. Amit Kumar Srivastava, sir, for gracing this event. And I invite you, sir, to deliver welcome address. Sir, please. Thank you so much, uh, Sanju. Good morning to one and all. It's our uh, great honor and privilege to welcome Dr. J. Kumar, sir, uh, respected professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering and Design Program at prestigious Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, India. Uh, sir, uh, it's a really, I mean, great uh, pride for us that you have spared your valuable time for interacting with students across India. In the today webinar on the project and internship opportunity related to the design area for the undergraduate students along with the postgraduate students. I just want to inform all the participant, uh, the faculty students uh, that AICT has initiated the number of intervention to support students in number of ways. And this interventions have been started by AICT in last, since last two months where AICT is involving the eminent experts across India from different disciplines, uh, whether it's a computer science, mechanical engineering, civil engineering, chemical engineering, to interact with our students, to have understanding of various, uh, uh, various, I mean, the knowledge in that particular domain. So with this, I again welcome Professor J. Ram Kumar sir in today's interactive program. And I request all the students to kindly listen to patiently more than, around more than 700, 700 students are part of today's program. It's going you know, increasing and increasing and this program is also live on YouTube channel of AICT. Thank you so much, sir. Now the time has come to hear from Dr. J. Ramkumar, sir. Professor J. Ramkumar, sir, is currently a professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering and design program at IIT Kanpur. He joined as an assistant professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering in December 2003. He earned his doctorate in Mechanical Engineering from IIT Madras. His research concentrate on micro and nano machining and finishing. He has also worked on tribology, coating and corrosion for both engineering and biomedical applications. Before joining IIT Kanpur, after his BTEC from NIT Trichy, he joined Michael, Miko Bosch as a technical graduate trainee. He pursued his postdoctoral research in the area of intermetallic composites, machining and fabrication at Osaka University, Japan. He is recipient of several fellowships, such as Young Engineer Award by ISAC India and Gopal Das Bhandari Best Teacher Award by IIT Kanpur. Recently honored with Eminent Engineer Award from IEI India and Young Alumni Achiever Award from NIT Trichy and many more. He has published over 200 articles in the peer-reviewed international journals and has delivered over 80 lectures in the international conferences. His H index of 23, which endorses his high research productivity. His five patents are commercialized total number of patents in his name being 69. He has procured a funding of over US $4 million during his career at IIT Kanpur. Recently, he is the project investigator of MedTech facility being developed in IIT Kanpur, funded by Biotechnology Industry Research Assistant Council, in short, BIRAC, Department of Biotechnology, India. He is reviewer of over 25 technical journals like Elsevier, Blackwell Publishing, Wiley, Springer, Hidvi, Highware, ECS Publications, Institution of Civil Engineering and American Society of Metals. May I now would like to invite Dr. J. Kumar sir to enlighten about the project and internship opportunities for students who are the future of India. Sir, please. 
Uh, good afternoon, madam. Thank you so much uh, for nicely giving a brief about my biodata and thank you to Amit ji for giving me an opportunity to present uh, a thought process which I would like to share with the audience. I am thankful to all the audience. Uh, there are close to 700, 800 audience across the country. So thank you so much for uh, choosing this particular session to attend. Uh, at the outset, uh, let me tell you very clearly that internship is very important when you are trying to become a full-fledged engineer. So now what comes is, now everybody looks forward for an opportunity so that they uh, would uh, like to finish their internship and get the certificate. So even before you approach a company, the first thing the company asks, tell about yourself. When you have to tell about yourself, you can always say I'm from X college, Y college, Z college. So then uh, people will say, okay, so that's fine. So now tell me more about you. So when we have to talk more about you, you must have some experience in trying to solve problems and projects. Okay, so, so this is where you are supposed to prepare yourself. See, when you try to shake hands with anybody, you would always try to look at when you shake hands, you look at the weight. What is my opponent having such that I can shake my hands? So this is the very simple logic every company would like to do. See, every company would like to check, okay, I'm going to take Mr. X or Miss Y. So what is his or her credential and capability? on top of whatever she or he has acquired in their academics. So for doing so, for building up your bio data, I am going to teach you a tool which is called as design thinking. So this tool you can apply in solving any small problem which you or your society or your family faces on a day-to-day -day, uh, sense and then you try to use this tool and start solving that problem and once you use this tool and solve that problem to 50% or 60% then it gives you a huge understanding how to work on a problem, how to solve the problem and how to look forward for solutions. So my focus of today is going to be how do you use this tool called design thinking. So this is what is the prime focus for today's lecture and uh, I, uh, I thank AICT once again for giving me an opportunity. I belong to the family of IIT Kanpur where I am a faculty member we have two labs with us. One is called as Imagineering Lab, which this lab is a concept which is developed at IIT Kanpur. We help our students to convert their ideas into patent or ideas into product. So Imagineering is Imagine plus Engineering put together. See, when you try to develop a prototype, it takes a long time to go towards the market. So we also try to handhold them, give some engineering solutions to the problem such that they can quickly go towards the solution. So I am heading the Imagineering Lab and I am also fortunate to have MedTech facility with us at IIT Kanpur, where in which very recently we got ISO certificate for this also, where we try to work on non-invasive medical devices. And for all these things, we simply use this tool, Design Thinking. So, uh, so first I would like to acknowledge I have taken or borrowed these slides from, uh, from this particular website predominantly where in which they try to talk about this design thinking concept in length. So I am very thankful to him and I acknowledge them. 
Uh, so this is country India. India is now evolving. India is now growing. And you guys are all part of this very powerful country called India, which is trying to make their mark in the world uh, best country and world best scenario. We are struggling to improve our economy and we are sure with all the young minds like you, we will be able to hit the sky heights shortly. We are already made lot of uh, mark in, during COVID in the global scenario. Now we will also try to make other things such that our country becomes flourishing and very famous. If you look at this country, this country has so many things in its thing. This is a country which has multiple cultures, which has diversified, diverse people, diverse culture, diverse food habits, diverse practice. So all these things are always a benefit for us. India is a country of 130 billion people. So it is very nice. The opportunity here is there are humpty number of problems, issues, which every individual or a group of individual face. Now, for when you see a problem, then you all as engineers should jump and look forward for opportunity. This opportunity will give you a weapon or this will give you a clear thought how to address this problem and how to uh, take the country ahead. So this diverse country, diverse food habits, diverse festivals, diverse uh, culture, all these things give opportunity for us. What is very common in South is not common in North. What is very common practice in North is not a common practice in East. What is in East is not there in West. And you stand anywhere in, in between, you move left or right 200 or 300 kilometers, you see a new language, a new newspaper, a new style, a truck which comes from South India, when it comes towards North, by looking at the truck itself, you can find out this is a South Indian truck. In the same way, when a North Indian truck moves towards east, you can quickly find out. So there is a, a, a individual customization which happens. Now each customization needs a solution. So this is the bless we have got from this country. And when you are looking for internship, you have to look for social based internship where in which you can try to solve small problems and try to have an innings out of it. This is our country. Be proud of it. Here, there are so many things are there, so many opportunities, so many people do so many things, but every opportunity is going to give you a solution for you to success. These are some of the brands which are Indian and they have made their niche across the globe. They are made across the globe. So these are some of the country as uh, products which are available Indian based, which has made international mark. For example, Mahendra, Mahendra, Ashok Leyland, Fab India. Uh, we have uh, we have so many uh, uh, sky bags. Uh, then we have uh, Geo. So all these things have made international mark. They're all made in India. So when we look at Steve Jobs, who is from Apple, we all see look at this. At one point of time, we were not, we were trying to have a smartphone with us. Today, the, the, the economic status of an individual is evaluated through his mobile phone. So everybody in this world would like to hold a mobile phone, which is made out of Apple, con the, the Apple company. And this Apple company, uh, the, this made a trend setter in smartphone and that was done by a team of people which was headed by Steve Jobs. So most people make the mistake of thinking design is what it looks like. People think it's the, it, it's this winner that the designer are handled in this box and told make it look like make it look good. That's not what we think design is. 
it's not just what it looks like and feels like design is how it works so he used the design thinking tool very powerfully this design thinking tool really made the apple product a, a trend setter amongst their competitors so let us now look at some of the indian based solutions which have been developed and demonstrated by students so here is a student from nid this is before 10 15 years she developed it she developed a product which is exclusively for in construction industry keeping prime focus to help women and try to reduce their drudgery women are used in lifting heavy weight in the construction industry she developed a tool which is made out of bamboo and you can see it can be used for moving a gunny bag which can be used for trying to move uh, the construction material which can also be used for scrolling out bricks so all these things could happen in a very less effort by using this product which is indigenously developed by a student so this student went around looking for what she can do to reduce the women drudgery she thought about it and she developed this product this is a typical product which you and i can think of solving it the idea is taken from the sky bag which we use it or a stroller which we use it while moving luggages so she has just used it she has used the concept of of military bag which is used by children for uh, for day-to-day -day application this is a product which is developed by a student when she was in when she was at college this is that the product which is developed so this product was developed using design thinking approach let us look at some of the other very interesting products which have got come into common man thing so this is a product which is developed by tata where in which they have two different products packaged in one so this is for tea and this is for a normal tea, Assam tea, and this is for green tea. Rather than buying two bottles, you buy one pack wherein which these two are integrated together. This innovation gave them a huge sale up in uh, for Tata. The other one is when you look at this, you see that this is tea and on the top of the lid, they had separately green. So these two are integrated in one bottle. When you buy it in the shop, they both are together. You get this in the market. Paperboard is an Indian based company, which is wonderful uh, uh, developed in this country. Paperboard is a, uh, is a product which is exclusively Indian based. So they try to have a, they try to have a breakthrough by trying to make the container using paper. And it had a cap. So through this cap, again, this cap was indigenously developed and uh, so this gave a huge breakthrough in their business. This is an another innovative product, again developed by a student, later got commercialized. This is a tube which is used to wash the dogs. You would have seen such situations, but this product was not available. Many of you, when we try to pull this plug from the plug point, you always have a difficulty. So just by a small designer intervention, this product has made a huge sale. So this is another product. Uh, this is another product which is developed at the, where there is a bed and then at the, at the leg of the bed, they have made the electrical wire connection. So this can be used because when you see that all the bed has a static location, from the bottom, you can try to give electrification connection. And from there, you can try to tap off power. So all these things are, in, are developed innovation in their product, which brought in a huge sale. Now, moving forward, we will show you some of the other innovative products, which you and I could have even developed. Look at this product, which is called as Stealth Steering Mug. And all these things, are developed by using design thinking concept by students and practicing engineer in an industry. 
So you look at the self-stirring mug. In the self-stirring mug, they try to pour milk and at the bottom they have a small fan which goes around. The, the fan is operated by a battery. There is a switch beneath the finger. So when you switch it on, it stirs. So your coffee powder, sugar powder is mixed properly and you can enjoy the coffee. The advantage of this mug is self-steering mug. Look at this. This is an innovative product wherein which you have, they have developed a bean bag or this is a, um, uh, this is a, a, a device wherein which it, it is used exhaustively in the gym for trying to give strength to your chest. So what they have done is they have just integrated that product into the chair. This can try to take any shape of the person who sits which gives him a lot of comfort. This is a novel product, which again is developed by using design thinking. Then you look at this, a, a chair which can be reoriented itself to get from this position to this posture. So this will try to help the person to have a single chair, but multiple postures which can be useful for them and comfortable for them depending upon the choice. For example, if it is a quick meeting, they would like to use this. If it is a long meeting or they would like to use this. So depending upon this, they can try to do. Here is a product wherein which it is just a shoe uh, lace. This shoe lace, what they have done is rather than using a lace, they have used a button. So now the tension for every thread can be maintained by just fixing this button. So this will tighten the shoe for advantage. This is a simple filter developed by using sedimentary principle and charcoal with a membrane there, which will try to convert a, a non-drinkable water into a drinkable water. So the filter was an innovative product which was developed. Look at this, while cutting tomatoes, we always have a problem in holding the tomato. Here is a device which just pierces it and it gives you a freedom for the knife to go inside. So you can slice exactly to your spacing requirement. This will try to reduce the load and it will also improve the process efficiency. An innovative product is this piercing needle which is, thrown, which is pushed into the tomato. This is a small needler which is used for making chapatis. So all these things are innovative product. Here, there is nothing called uh, the problem statement given by somebody. The problem statement is, is found out by an individual. They try to find out by looking at the others, what they do and what is the difficulty they face and what technological intervention they can do. Being an engineer, you can easily develop solutions when you look at the problem. Till now, what we have been exposed in our curriculum is somebody defines and gives a problem. The algorithm for solving the problem is taught in the class. Now what you do is you just use the plug and play and try to solve the algorithm, get the unique answer. But what I am trying to tell you is nobody will define the problem. You define the problem. You try to develop a solution. And here there is nothing called unique solution. Lady ka jo chair hai, this she is comfortable, but you might not feel comfortable. This person who sits here, he is comfortable. You might not be comfortable. This is good for him, maybe not good for you. What I'm trying to tell you is there can be humpty number of solutions for the same problem. For example, look at it in a class of 600 students or 700 students. If I try to try to list down all the smartphones there, you will have 30, 40 different types of smartphones with different companies which everybody used. You are comfortable with that phone. You buy it and use it. I am comfortable with my phone. I am using it. But both of us are happy with the solution given to the problem. So this is what is the innovation concept pushing in front of you. So I will show you some more product. Look at this iPad or this is your pad. Okay, uh, this pad uh, the innovation in this entire product is nothing but the pillow. The pillow in which the pad is resting is an innovative concept. Otherwise, she has to hold the pad in the other hand 
or she will try to put it in her lap and you said where she gets the neck portion gets stressed more these are some of the cool products which are there i'm just showing you which you and i also will face when we try to cut butter the toughest problem of cutting butter in this season at the north is it is very it is very stiff it is very hard to cut so why don't i introduce a small heater in the knife so that that tries to soften the butter and i scoop out whatever i don't want i scoop out whatever i want so this is a innovative concept which you and i can develop and this can be taken from a heater which is used in soldering machine so here is a product which they have developed innovative product which is now sold in amazon some student developed it right the next one is look at it these are all just buttons which are just used to hold only the wires again these buttons are sold in the market these are innovative products one for usb one for some other adapter one for this adapter you can do it you can always try to have like chiclet you can also try to have a soap soap tablet so this soap tablet is dropped into your hand with water you can try to wash so every tablet is used for washing your hand once this does not demand for a sanitizer this does not demand for a soap paper this only demands for a small uh, solution of a tablet which can be reused which can be used so this is an innovative product the concept is stolen from chiclet and soap is uh, carrying the soap will always be a difficulty we can do that the other thing is what we have a uh, a wiper in a car why don't we put the same wiper in front of a mirror because when you try to have a hot water bath the mirror will be completely fogged when we try to wash it or when we try to clean it you will try to see finger marks later so why don't we introduce this and it is a very simple concept wherever you have this it will be attached to a small uh, power and then you can start using it look at this here is a candle stand where in which the twig runs for both sides so when it melts from the top it gets deposited at the bottom once the deposit at the bottom is fit again you turn it ulta so you can try to use it so it is almost like a endless or uh, a candle so you can use the same candle the innovation is the concept of the holder rather than the candle so here are some of the cool products cool products which you can do innovation and then then start doing it some more when we try to squeeze the toothpaste we always try to squeeze the toothpaste from the bottom so why don't we attach it to a fixture like this you roll it so and then at the bottom you keep your brush the the paste comes and drops it many of us when we sit in a sofa when we try to have coffee we always try to have coffee in our hand and the stool will be very far off so we always go back and forth in doing it rather than doing it why don't we make a small wooden mat and keep it on the hand uh, hand side so that he can sit and drink very nicely here is a pizza cutter so this pizza cutter is having a scissor so when you try to cut a pizza with a knife you also have this bottom to connect and the scissor to cut so you try to do both and then uh, you can try to have this in your hand so this is also a product which was developed so this is a cheetos packet the many a times when we buy cheetos or lay chips or whatever it is the toughest problem is after we eat half we would like to retain and when we try to retain we will always the air gets leaked out so here in which a small stapler or a heater stapler is developed so this stapler will be used to heat it and close the packet so because the packet will always have some polymer so you heat it it will seal it so here is a sealer which is used for this cheetos packet so which can be applied so that you can try to close it and use it here is a device which is developed where in which you have a liquid which is dispensed by a spoon so this can be used for feeding young uh, young kids whatever medicine you have or whatever juice you have you put this juice and then attach it with the spoon and they can take it from the spoon the spoon is integrated into the bottle itself an innovative product and the last one is whenever we have all these noodles or something like that so we always try to use a fork the fork have a straight line so it slips slips down why don't we have a fork which is having a wavy pattern like this so it tries to lock the noodles so you can try to eat it comfortably so what all i have shown till now all are products which you and i can develop 
just by looking at the need and developing a solution. Let it be this one, let it be this one, let it be this one, or let it be this one. And you don't have to always look at somebody. You can try to do this for yourself. For example, day in and day out, I use a laptop. And so how do I make a fixture for the laptop so that I can sit comfortably and read? So you can try to make it. So now what is that is this, whatever you try to identify a problem and develop a solution, this will give you confidence when you try to go to your company and ask the company, give me an internship. And what really this new education policy is all looking at is try to look at contextual, contemporary knowledge which is available around you. Whatever you have studied bookish, try to take that bookish knowledge, go towards the society wherever you are, try to identify a small problem. So look at this, this paste problem you and I face regularly. This problem we have, you and I face regularly. Sometimes because of uh, the, uh, this non-closure, we overeat. So all these things are problems which you identify and try to solve it. Now let us go into the technology or the technique or the tool what we are going to use. This is a very powerful tool which was started way back in 1960s. In 1987, it was given a shape called as design thinking. From then on, almost all the industries which are developing new novel products are using this tool very powerfully. The Stanford Design School uses it, IDEOS uses it, uh, all these people use it. The bottom line USP of this tool is nothing but it is a user-centered approach to solve problems or it is this tool uses a user centric approach to solve problems. So what is design tool? We are it is a human centric tool. So what we do is rather than going in public and saying that I am going to solve a problem or here is a solution to the problem. Whenever you try to develop here is a solution to the problem. It does not give any success to you because you have developed a solution to the problem what you thought was right. There was no customer for it. So what this design thinking says is please identify. Please identify what is the problem faced by a customer. For example, if you try to develop a tool for a blind man and say that here is the best tool for a blind man. Boss, you and I are not blind. So until and unless we blind ourselves and develop a technology and then give it. For example, walking stick is there. Walking stick, until and unless you blind your eyes and use that walking stick and live with that walking stick for 10 days, you will not understand what all are the problems faced by using that walking stick. Then once you identify those problems, then you can list down those problems. And after listing down, you can pick one simple problem and try to solve it. By the way, when government of India run toy hackathon, smart India hackathon, hardware hackathon, software hackathon, they look for such problem statements. Are you trying to solve some societal based problems? So where is the societal based problem comes? When you start looking at the other person who are around you, what is their suffering they undergo? The suffering need not be very hard. If you can even try to develop a dustbin which can attract people to go and dump it into it, that itself is a success. Have you seen in many of the parks, you see kangaroo as a dustbin, you see elephant as a dustbin. Why do they make that? They make it because at zoo, these are all animals available and they also wanted to attract your attention and use that for dumping it. So here they understand the psychology. So what I'm trying to tell you is whatever problem you are trying to solve, you should first see who is the who are the people who are undergoing that. So if this tool is human centric, this tool is mindful of process. 
end of this tool using you will try to develop a prototype and show it to it you will try to work as a team and start using it as part of NEP new education policy we always say try to develop projects and in a team so we don't teach in academics how to build a team but by using this tool and start solving problems you start working in a team so rad radical collaboration and bias towards action these are the success for this design thinking now let us understand the five steps which are involved in design thinking madam how much time do i have as much as you can take sir no issues sir okay thank you so much so i'll go for another 20 minutes and i am repeatedly making clear to the audience you use this tool you try to solve a problem i assure you you will get internship wherever you want because if you start putting this i have solved this problem using this design thinking approach and given benefit for a, such a kind of people you will see your bio data flies very high okay so that's why i'm trying to spend more time in trying to give you a solution rather than giving you these are all the ways you can try to be successful okay so this design thinking tool has five steps the first step is called as empathy or empathy study or empathize so next thing is called as define the third one is called as ideation the fourth one is called as prototyping the fifth one is called as testing these five steps have to be followed okay so now let us go step by step by step the first step is called as empathize what do you mean by empathize you try to become the 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 of the, the object itself you try to become the subject itself for example i am trying to develop a solution for a blind man i am trying to develop a solution for a small child i am trying to develop a solution for my teacher i am trying to develop a solution for my set of friends okay so then you are trying to identify who your customers are and then what you do is you don't go to the customer and say okay ma'am i'm going to give you a solution may aapko solution dunga if you say like that they will not even come and talk to you you should become an integral part of them aap aapas mein ek team aap aap unke saath hi jod lo you don't tell them what you are you don't tell them what you are you try to identify what is it and then you try to be part of it i was very impressed by listening to our prime minister's modi one of the interviews he said you should have a friend who does not know that you are his friend and who tries to tell you what you should do and you learn through him you don't have to tell him he is your friend and he also knows that you are his friend but both don't talk to each other as friend but you try to keep him and try to get him listen to him such that you can grow up in the ladder so that is what is called as empathize empathize means you trying to listen to the voice what the customer is trying to say so here uh, we we uh, basically what i'm trying to tell you is <clears throat> at, during the semester you try to visit near and dear places understand what all problems they face note it down and then start spending time with them so that is what is empathize generally when i try see i have somewhere <laughs> close to around about 75 indian patents so when we try to identify problems what we do is we try to go and stay with the audience for so so long a time maybe a month maybe 15 days we go to icus spend time with the doctors we go to um, a ward where all sweepers and scavengers live together we go there and spend 15 days with them we uh, or we go to an administrative building we try to spend time with them and try to identify what problems they face many a times you will see the root cause of the problem will be different from what is there and you trying to develop a solution will be completely different 
So this is what is empathize. And when you are working as a team, you should always try to do an empathizing situation and then start doing it. Empathize is the first step. After you empathize, you have to clearly define the problem. See, empathize is, okay, let us assume that I want to become a rich man. I want to become tomorrow an Adani. I want to become tomorrow an Ambani. I want to become somebody like that. But fine. That is only that is only a bigger statement you make. So now, uh, when do you claim yourself as you are you have become Adani or Ambani? So when you try to say when I cross an earning in a year so much, and then if I make a profit so much, then I would like to rate myself as Adani as Ambani. So what does it say? You are trying to say uh, within a year. So you are defining a time. And then second point is you are, you are defining the magnitude of money. And you also say that I do community service or I give to 10,000 people job. So then I feel I am another Ambani or an Adani or Rathan Tata, whatever you say. So what did you do? You identified a problem. Now you are clearly defining that problem. For example, if you identify that making gift worth for 100 rupees is going to be the biggest turning point in my college days. So now you have identified you, you to make a gift. That's all. So now the gift cost is what? What should be inside gift? What should be the shape of the gift? What should be the size of the gift? What should be the life of the gift? So all these things you try to convert into an engineering terms is the definition. If I want to put it in a crude sense, whatever problem statement is given in your engineering textbook or in your NCRT textbook or well-defined problems. Once there is a well-defined problem, then you all, you all have the capability. You are all pretty smart. You will definitely develop beautiful ideas. And from the beautiful ideas, you will extract few of them as doing cut and paste amongst them. And then you try to develop a prototype. Once you develop a prototype, you will test your prototype with the customer and then you will realize whatever you have done till now is all useless and then you will rerun the cycle once again do a more focused empathy study and more focused redefining ideation prototype testing like this if you repeat sincerely three times take it from me friends you have developed a product which is innovative and which is worthwhile patenting and worthwhile commercializing. This is what is this powerfulness of the tool. This is what is the powerfulness of the tool. Okay, so let us understand this tool a little bit more. Okay, what do you mean by empathize? Empathizes, you observe you engage and you immerse. Let me give another simple example. Very recently, we did an experiment at the Delhi railway station. In Delhi railway station, you see a lot of small young boys, girls, they do rag picking, right? They do all the bottles, plastic bottles over there, here, paper, and then they, they try to, at the end of the day, they accumulate everything, go sell it, and then they have their innings. Okay. So what comes to your mind? Immediately you feel that, oh, these people are orphans. Next thing is, if a proper education is given, they will not do that. They don't have money, they do that. Is this comes to your mind? That is what comes to everybody's mind, right? So they, are, they don't have father, they, are, they don't have money to go to, they don't have... Uh, somebody to pay their school fees. Uh, they don't have uh, money to have a very good living. That's right, right? These are the things which you feel. But tell, let me tell you some interesting facts. We did this experiment and we were there one 
amongst themselves like beggars, rag pickers. We spent almost a month and then we got very interesting data. Every person who is doing this job has almost a bank balance of 20, 30,000 rupees at any given point of time. As a hot cash, they have 10,000 rupees at any given point of their time, which I and you don't have. So money is not the problem. And we all thought that they are all fatherless, motherless. No, the entire family is doing the same job. It is like a traditional business, family business they do. So the second the heuristics, whatever we thought is also life. The third one we thought is, okay, if we pick them and if we give them some 10 rupees, 50 rupees, 100 rupees, three meals a day, good uniform, will they start going towards studies? That also failed the assumption that they were not interested in studying. So then what are they all up to? They are like nomads. They, keep, they would like to do multiple jobs. They would like to have fun in doing job, in doing the same job, whatever they have. They don't mind uh, doing this job repetitively for years together. They don't mind running their families also like that. They don't, they, they are not interested in wearing a beautiful shirt pant like you and I. See now, until and unless we did this exercise, we did this exercise at the Delhi railway station, we could not get the learning. So what did we do? We did an empathy study. We observe, we engage, we immerse ourselves. We means we, I, along with a team of people went there and did this empathy study. Okay, so that is what is the empathy study. So when you do this empathy study, many illusions, whatever we have, gets removed off. See, I, along with my friend, went to a college, in, went to a school at Kanpur uh, after the 10th standard results are out. We just went to the uh, school, out, we stood outside the school. We just decided that we will give pamphlets to the school kids coming out of the school saying that, please go and try your admission here in this college. Do this. So this is what I was doing. By then, I was a full professor at IIT Kanpur. I did not disclose my identity. I went there along with my friend to understand how difficult is the business. So I went there, started giving pamphlets along with him very religiously to many people there. So I thought these kids will look into it. They will read it and then they will uh, go. These kids, 10th standard part kids, they came and asked, sir, do you have a scholarship in your college? Is your college COVID? Does your college give any government schemes? What is the job opportunities your college has? All these questions were asked by a 10th standard graduate leaving the school by looking at our pamphlet. I was just baffled. Until and unless I did this empathy study, I did not realize the amount of knowledge they have. Okay, so that is empathy. So once I do this empathy, I get a lot of knowledge. Now, this knowledge, this data has to be converted into an information which is very solid and that happens in the definition mode. The definition mode is when you unpack and synthesize your empathy finding into compelling need and insight and scope of specific and meaningful challenge. Many of us sit down here and try to do many things as without doing this empathy study, when you start doing the empathy, you will define a clear problem. The Nokia 110 phone, which is a very, very successful phone, today does not have its innings at all, but still the best phones, mobile phones, which are in the market, one among them is Nokia 110 phone. This Nokia 110 company, Nokia company decided that they would like to introduce 110 model in India and try to make sure that they have a proper innings in India. That means to say sale. They came down to India and then they tried to figure out how, what are all the problems Indians face. So they figured out Indians hmm, eat a lot of oil. Many a times they don't wash their hands properly. So they need to put an oil coating on top of their phone. And in India, there is a lot of dust. 
So all these things they figured out. And when they did all these studies, still they were feeling that there is nothing, one thing which is not coming up big, so which we can push our product. They went around the country and then they realized with a very good finding and the year of 2000, there was a lot of power cut in India. So they realized that if our mobile phone can come up with a device integrated into it such that the women can go safe, the men can use it while walking in the field or while doing something in the kitchen. If they could have some device attached to the mobile phone, they can have an innings out. So then came the integration of a torchlight to the mo mobile phone. Nokia 110 was the pioneer company which came. The idea was germinated in India. And today you have all phones which come into the market which has a torchlight attached with your smartphone. That idea germinated from India. And why Nokia uh, company did not realize this importance or in developed countries like US and Japan, they did not realize because in those countries, there is nothing called as a power cut. When they came down to India, did the empathy study, they defined the problem properly. After the definition of the problem, you do ideation. When you do ideation, you should never try to filter the idea at the germination stage saying that this is good, this is bad. What it means is if anybody gives you even a crap solution, you know this is completely infeasible. Still, you accept all those ideas and start noting down those ideas. So there might be one idea which is very good when it is trying to get integrated with the other ideas which are already expressed. So this is where we start doing brainstorming sessions. In brainstorming sessions, for a simple defined problem, we will try to solve 100 different solutions. For example, I am part of design program or design department of IIT Kanpur. I give a problem statement to all my students, try to sketch 50 different types of cup where the top cross section and the bottom cross section should not be circular. So they will draw a triangle, they will draw a hexagon, they will draw these, they will draw that, and they will try to make so many number of cups. They will try to sketch so many different cups. And then what I will do is I will say 50 different cups are there in, in front of you. In this, try to make prototype of 10. So then what they will do is they will try to put other optimization techniques, this and that, and then they will try to convert it. And then they will try to come up with 10 different ideas. So after the idea is done, they try to do prototype. Now I will try to take this prototype and show it to the customer without telling what is the product. Customer will look at it and they will try to give their feedback, record the feedback, and then I start redoing the study. So ideation means trying to generate more and more, more and more idea. So that means to say you are moving from this point after the idea, this is empathy study, after this, you come to this idea stage. I don't know, you come to the definition stage and at idea stage, you go here. And again, in prototyping stage, you fill converts. Okay, so you don't take any judgments. You go for volumes on the conversation at time. Be more visual. Try to make headlines of whatever ideas are given and encourage wild ideas. This is what should happen at the ideation stage. So after the ideation stage is done, we do prototyping. In prototyping, we try to do uh, all these things. We try to do low fidelity, high fidelity, pencil sketch, paper sketch, uh, like whatever you try to do in your school level science exhibition, they're all prototypes. So they're all done with paper, this thing, that thing. They do 10 times, uh, they just finish the job for the exhibition demonstration and go. So those things are called prototypes. And But what we are trying to say is you try to make an alpha prototype and a functional prototype, a high fidelity prototype, and then show it to the customer without talking to the customer. So once you do this, you refine your prototype and solution. You try to learn more about from the user and you test and verify your, your um, point of value, whatever you have initially thought of in your definition. So that is what I said in the definition state point of view is put here. So once you test, go back and test with your point of view and then develop solutions. 
So this keeps going round and round and round and round. Three, four iterations you go. It is not linear. It is not linear. You can go crisscross between the thing. For example, empathy to idea, empathy to definition, definition to idea, idea back to empathy you can do. So if you repeatedly do, you will try to become very successful. When you try to develop all these things, have a mindset like a baby. The kid never judges anything. The kid asks humpty number of questions. It is always very curious. It, it, has, it always wonders why things are there. It always looks for pattern. It always listens to music and it is real. Why does a baby cry? The baby cries because it would like to listen to himself or herself. When he starts crying, it starts listening to it. So once he starts crying and he listens and then he sees a response that mother comes or father comes, then he puts it into his neural network, says that whenever I need something, I should shout, then I will see my mother will come or my father will come. And until they come, I don't get solution to it. He keeps crying until he finds somebody. So be like a baby when you look at any problem to solve. So, and when you are trying to solve problems, try to make story sketches and capture the devices. You will try to ask what, how, and why questions frequently to turn towards your solution. This is how it goes. First, you kick off, then you build rapport with the audience, then you grand tour with the audience, then you'd start reflecting with the audience, then you wrap up and then build up whatever it is. So interviews for empathy is very, very important. You should be like a child to get to know all the information, whatever is there, right? Finally, you get all sorts of data. You write down all these data. You cluster all these data into groups such that it can try to solve your problem. And finally, you try to do an empathy map and you try to solve the techniques. When you finally solve, you make prototypes like this. And these are low fidelity prototypes. You, then you make it into 3D printing. Then you make electronics attached to it. You make it realistic. Then show it to the customer. Then get your prototype approved. India is talking about Atman Atma Nirbha Bharat. So there are five pillars in it. So economic quantum jumps when you start developing prototype products and prototypes for that using this design thinking approach. Infrastructure is one good thing which that is attracting a lot of investment to come to this company. The technology driving systems are putting, getting into place. India is a democratic vibrancy is there. Large democracy, large intelligence, large crisscrossing and large things are happening. Demand, full utilization of power to demand and supply is what is the fifth pillar, what we are talking under Atmanirma Bharat. All these things will lead, apart from your internship at one point of time, it will lead to startups. These startups will always look for innovative solutions and these innovative solutions come by using this power tool for tools, design thinking. Finally, I would like to wish you all stay fit, use the Indian weapon, Yoga Sanam, Surya Namaskar, you do it, and then keep yourself fit, keep your mind thinking, thinking towards design thinking, and you will see success once you develop one mini project, one maxi project, whatever it is in your course, in your semester, you will be sure that you will get internship wherever you want and uh, you name it, you will get it. With that, Namaskar. Thank you very much for your time. And now I'm open for questions. Thank you so much, sir. I mean, it's a really an excellent session for all of us, including us also, sir. It's a lots of learning into it. I mean, the way you informed all of us about the basics of design thinking, then process, how to go about it, will definitely help our students to plan their internship in a more coherent way to work to, I mean, to start their own startups to work towards the Atmanirbha Bharat. Now the session is open for questions. So I request the participant to kindly raise your hand. Uh, Mr. Tusar, Tusar, we have admitted you. Yes, to sir, you may ask your question. To sir, to sir, Kosik. 
उंड <laughs> and then you see if i put a if i put a vibrator or a sensor or whatever it is will it help so then you try to take a small thermocol in your hand place your sensor in that thermocol try to keep it in your hand again blind your eyes and walk through the street if you are able to see success then take it from me you are successful don't ask anybody <clears throat> test it for yourself but you become blind don't have your eyes and then you say i am developing for a blind that will not take you anywhere okay good start thinking start doing navya navya do you have any query navya we have unmuted you uh, mr bipin swain Mr. Bipin, Mr. Bipin, we have unmuted you. You just ask your question. Empathize. I can think of the problem. I can ideate. But uh, but when it comes about costing, about prototyping and testing, uh, does can I get any help from government side or uh, any agencies or that? Bipin, could you please repeat your question? Uh, sir, sir, that uh, first of all, three steps: empathize, define, and ideate. Uh, it's okay, but when it comes to testing, it's about costing. I need uh, some amount that I can spend because I need to do a prototype. Testing, I need to go to some agency also. So, yeah. is there any agency or sir? Sir. um let me tell you if you have a wonderful idea with you in your hand okay there is lots of avenues today you can get funding so funding should not be a problem for you to convert your um, uh, prototype into reality so the only thing what i'm trying to say in the first phase is try to make prototypes such that you can go and convince the person to whom you are asking loan or you are asking money and so say for example we are we at iit kanpur under medtech and imaginary lab we are looking forward for can't anybody come down here and give us a problem we would be happy to work with them we would be happy to make free prototype at least one prototype you will be able to make free so you you have to come up with a product which is acceptable and which shows a market potential then you will see lot of people will join hands with you as friends sir idea is something which is very important prototyping anybody will do you develop a good idea you stay in touch with me i will make a prototype for you but the idea should be successful it's not that sir do this yes. let me see what is it no no so you okay. come up with an idea where there is a market potential you convince me i will do free prototypes for you five prototypes free no problem okay Okay. Next question, please. There is a one question from Mr. Himanshu Prajapati. How to be a good observer for having different idea in mind? How to be a good observer, sir? Sir, you have to. You this is a this is like a skill which you have to learn. So you have to close your uh, zip your mouth and keep watching. That's all. You be in mount of earth. and be a good observer that's all see observation is something which teaches you many things sir yes sir many things which teaches you many things let me tell you a simple observation what i had when my son was young my wife used to teach him uh, teach him like uh, what, uh, hours together maybe he was in the first standard or ukg or first standard she used to teach from 6 to 8 o'clock every day evening she used to teach 2 plus 2 is 4 these that these that 
everything she used to teach. At the end of the entire teaching, she will uh, expect my son to ask question or something. She says, all the homework is over, everything is over. Now you can go have play and all. But my son used to ask a question. Why does the ant always go at, towards the end of the wall? So he used to ask this question. So there are two things which you have to infer. One is this fellow all through the two hours had something else in his mind which he was not able to express or we did not give him space to understand. So he did not clear. The two hours of teaching whatever you did did not get into his mind. So when you are an observer, when, when you always learn what is going on and the observation teaches many things. So silence is the best observer. So you please use it and then start developing it. Mr. Thone DB. Hello. Yeah, please. Hello. Good afternoon, sir. Yes. Uh, myself from Dhoni Bharti Vidya Peet Pune, sir. Mm. Uh, and uh, I'm in the training and placement uh, office as a training and placement yeah. head. We have got yeah. some problems. Uh, I'm, and I want to uh, just uh, ask few things from institute point of view, sir. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, there are the students who want to start the startups. Yeah, they yeah. have the innovative yeah. ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. make that innovative ideas into the practice. Mm. Uh, uh, is there any forum which will be taken care by the AICT? Yeah. Uh, so that no. they, will con uh, they will contact through the college and uh, uh, make this idea into the practice. Sir, you see, there has to be a fundamental difference of thought process. We always look ahead and ask, somebody support me, somebody support me. I am telling you, you have developed a product, ask your students to go to their market and assess themselves. And once they assess themselves, and if there is a potential, there are so many avenues, sir. Today, there is CSR, which is given by a lot of big industries. There is Nidhi Prayas, Startup India. Every state has their own grant. AICT is giving. All they have to do is develop a wonderful problem statement and then put. Okay. Okay. So, see, AICT is a body. Every time yeah. some, everybody thinks that, okay, you drop a letter to AICT, AICT will come with a solution. See, no, sir. Mm -hmm. AICT okay. can only... Can only uh, uh, line up your question towards somebody else and here in this you don't have to ask anybody ask your students to go <laughs> to the market and assess <laughs> whether their problem is the solution whatever they have developed there is a market for it if there <laughs> is a market then they can <laughs> just sit down and draft it okay sir. okay sir yes sir Sir, Thanks during lot, COVID, sir. we Thanks. during COVID, we developed some uh, mobile master G kit, sir. You can do a search. And we were fortunate. Prime Minister also referred in his monkey bath. So mm -hmm. uh, we developed it. And uh, there were a lot of private school teachers. They came forward and they gave 2,000 rupees and they bought our product. Because they said, mm -hmm. sir, we need some tools so that we can fix the uh, smartphone and then we can start taking class. Oh. So they spend money. So it's not mm -hmm. always government. If you if the solution is good, there will be something number of people to come forward and uh, take us uh, this thing. Yeah. So don't worry about that, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks, sir. Yeah. Mr. Anuj Kapoor. Sir, maybe another last three questions I'll take, sir. Amit ji. Okay, okay sir. Four questions. Yeah. Okay, sir. Yeah. Mr. Anuj Kapoor. Yes, sir. Uh, so one of the... Yeah, please. Uh, in, uh, most troubles which I faced during uh, one of my projects was uh, my team could not cope up with each other. So how to build a team during the startup, sir? The core team which will build my whole idea into reality. I sir, see, that is always a challenge. That is a big challenge. Okay. And um, when, you, when you are in a team, you have to give everybody the scope of being a leader. You also have to give them a scope of being a follower. <clears throat> so team building is something which is very, 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 very tricky. And one good idea is you never try to have all your good friends as your team members. Try to have people who are complementary to you. For example, if you are a mechanical engineer, try to have one another friend who is a computer engineer. Try to have one more girl in your team as a financier or who takes care of finance. 
have one more person from MBA who is going to take care of your PR connects and other things. So your team should not be all people liking to each other. For, for example, if four of you like Rajinikanth and if all of you are Rajinikanth fan, then naturally what happens is everybody will start viewing only Rajinikanth movie. You will not have a broader thought. Yes, sir. So if you want to have a broader thought, your team should be mixed match. And when you are working in a team, you have to give, you have to allow them to succeed and you have to show that you are a loser, they have succeeded. All these things have to be together. So growing team, developing team is like Indian team going for the World Cup. There are few successful captains, so there are, uh, but the team is very good. But the few successful captains make the change. So team is something very, very difficult and it comes by practice. Okay, next is Mr. Alok Ranjan. We will take one more question. Mr. Alok Ranjan. Yeah. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, please. Yeah, I'm speaking uh, from behalf of our university, sir. Uh, I want to ask, uh, uh, we have newly uh, uh, admitted in our university and wanted to uh, participate in various projects and internships, but we are not getting any notices or any uh, uh, privilege to do so. So how right. we can do, sir? Sir, you have to keep your eye and ear open. Nothing else. Don't expect all others. In the digital media, you please tell me uh, whatever information is available is accessible to everybody. You start uh, using LinkedIn, you start using Instagram, you start getting yourself connected with other people. There are so many legends, so many people in AICT, CRB. Get yourself connected with their LinkedIn. They will post everything there today. In the digital era, if you say that I don't get information, then sir, you have to correct yourself. And Olden just, days, post used to come. I understand post does not come. But today, everything is digital, sir. And, and secondly, sir, AICT also has one internship portal where thousands of in internship opportunities are there. So I request his friend to kindly access the internship portal also, where oh. the government as well as the corporate internship opportunities are there. But so, sir, yeah. as a student, you have to explore. <laughs> yeah, you have to explore, sir. See, if you want to see your face in the mirror, you have to go stand in front of the mirror. Mirror will never come to you. We always think that the mirror should come to me, show my face, and then I will make my face beautiful. No, sir. You have to put efforts, then the opponent also put efforts, then you see success. Sir, we'll this is reality. Question. Yeah, we we'll take last question from Mr. Hari. Uh, Mr. Hari, yeah. Mr. Hari, are you there? Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, please. Go ahead. Uh, uh, hello, sir. I have a question. So we were talking about, uh, I mean, uh, these ideas I got. But when we are getting into abstract areas like computer science, and I'm not getting how we will empathize. For example, I am looking for something in cyber security area, but I'm not getting how we will empathize and find the problem what uh, the users or people are facing. Sir. See, for example, uh, you might have a very abstract idea, but what you have to do is you have to go amplify, 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 and then go towards who will be the final user. For example, you try to develop something for a bank in the encryption, but ultimately you see that finally will go to a customer. So you identify a customer and find out what all problems does this customer have now, and by using your solution in the bank, what all benefit he will get. So you, you cannot have an abstract one-to-one -one mapping. You should try to amplify and try to, you have to wear a shoe of the customer and see where I can use your thing to him. I mean, I got the point. I tried, but not success in the sense, usually when it is coming to cyber security area and our people are not ready to open, discuss much, or even not ready to listen to such ideas also. I mean, maybe I have to try more, but I'm just... Yes, yes, say. yes. Hari, see, I will tell you, IIT Kanpur has got uh, maybe 150 crore worth of national initiative on uh, cyber security. Have you oh. ever stayed in touch with any of the faculty member here? And uh, see, no faculty member in this world has time to just give time to everybody. So you should understand how do you get connected. You have to do some little bit of uh, fishing then try to get connected. They are offering a lot of short-term courses. Get into any of the short-term course, and then you get connected with the faculty. Then you can be part of even the team. If you are so good, you can be part of that team. 
See, we everywhere people are looking for intelligent, brilliant, wonderful ideas. The other way around, wonderful ideas are also looking for platforms. So somewhere both of us have to go and bridge. So that is where it is. Ari, you can try IIT Kanpur uh, Cyber Security Cell or Center. They have got a huge grant, and I don't know what are their objectives. So you can try to get connected with them. They might give you some solution. Okay, thank you, sir. We'll okay. try that. Yeah. Okay, so I'm I'm done. I'm done, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very thank much, sir. sir. Yeah, Sanju. Uh, we reach towards the end of this session. On behalf of AICTE, I feel immense pleasure to propose a vote of thanks on this event. I want to express my sincere gratitude to Dr. J. Kumar, sir, uh, for gracing this occasion and shared such a useful information. Sir, I am sure that uh, students will definitely draw benefit out of this. Thank you so much, sir. I take this opportunity to thank Dr. Amish Shivastav, sir, for taking pain for students to organize such project guidance webinar. My deep sense of gratitude goes to the all the participants who are with us since 12 noon and attended this webinar with great enthusiasm and made this event a great success. Last but not the least, I would like to thank Ms. Manali, IT consultant of student development cell AICT for technical support. In the end, thank you all for being with us. Have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you so much, sir. Namaskar, sir. Thank you. Sir, Namaskar. Thank you very much for the opportunity, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you.